Uh, hello everybody, Deltas45, yeah. and uh, this is actually going to be a tutorial. Um, this channel's not all reviews and junk, and I really like Minecraft. It is my job, so <laughs> I, I have to like it. Uh, this tutorial is something that I see a lot on the internet, and people get very frustrated about it, and it's actually really pretty simple. I found a few tutorials that were uh, a little outdated, and they didn't really explain too well in depth, and I don't think I'll explain them very well either, but hopefully uh, you guys ask me some good questions in the uh, comment section, and I'll respond to those. Uh, anywho, this video is for using World Guard, which is made by Skate9Q. Uh, it's a plugin uh, from the same guy who made World Edit and all this other stuff. And World Guard is really, really popular. If you don't know how to use World Edit either, um, I suggest you learn how. What I have now is a wand. If you have World Edit installed, it'll give you the axe by default. You can change that. Um, but this is what you're going to be using to select things. So it, this tutorial is going to be teaching you how to... Uh, define a region, define another region in that region, define a region within a region within a region, it's a regionception, -ception. and, but this player is going to be able to build outside of these regions, but not inside this one, or this one, only inside this one, and outside of these regions. So it's essentially creating a plot for them within a town, that's what this represents. This is their plot, and this grass block to these glowstone blocks is uh, my town and then these glowstone blocks to these stone pillars represents a I don't know what kind of zone you'd call this a uh, just pretty much a no build zone you can die in this zone uh, there's PvP in this zone you just can't build here uh, the reason I do that on all my maps is because I really hate when people uh, build like a faction right next to spawn it's super annoying and it's ugly and it's just gross so I like to have a, a buffer zone but obviously this is a scale representation of the town um, it actually be much larger and it will be maybe I'll include a update video later once I have the uh, city all done this is gonna be my public server or whatever just fun SMP stuff but anyway let's start off uh, if you're wondering what this is it's a UI it's uh, you can find it online it's pretty cool uh, I'll maybe include another video on how to install that it's really easier to see what you're doing so uh, if you haven't used world edit oh god I'll make another video for you but uh, select your first position with uh, left click select the next with your left and this is our selection right here now I really want to define it all the way up and all the way down because otherwise someone's gonna mine directly under it and maybe build an overhang over it and it's gonna look really ugly so all we have to do is double forward slash expand space V-E-R-T so expand vert and enter and what that does is it goes all the way down all the way up so no one's going to be able to go above this or under it and it's uh, really easy just to divide up chunks this way. And uh, you're lucky I changed my texture pack for you guys. I have uh, LB Realism, and the font in that is horrible. It, the kerning. Anyway, uh, so now that we have this region selected, we have to define it. So open up your text box and type forward slash region. So just one forward slash now. And now we want to do define and the next space we want to name it so I just want to name it something uh, simple I guess uh, let's do nope because I don't want people to build in there so once I've defined it that's pretty much all I need to do because I can always come back and edit that just by having that ID so we're gonna define the town now and again I want this space to be vertical so for double forward slash expand vert goes all the way up all the way down and uh, we're gonna region no oh wait one forward slash I always mess that up and I'm sure a lot of people online are raging at that too um, and I think I already used town so I'm just gonna say town one all the way up all the way down 
And in this one, I'm not going to expand vert because I don't want them to make a gigantic skyscraper or a freaking mine shaft. So I'm just going to give them the shaft and give them this tiny little eight <laughs> volume cube that they can't even make a house in. Um, and I'm going to also define that as a region. And what should I call this? Lol. <laughs> Okay, so now the next step is adding an owner to this lol. I would actually organize these like plot one, plot two, plot three, plot four, but I'm feeling lazy and spontaneous right now. So Fuzzy88 is our uh, griefer account that uh, I happen to have. Thank you for the friend that donated it <laughs> um, for this example. He is, he's on my laptop right now, so I'm controlling him. Uh, I don't trust any of my friends in this example to stand still and be quiet for this long. So, uh, I need to define him as an owner. We're going to do region A-D-D-O-W-N-E-R. So, add owner, one big word that doesn't exist. And then I believe uh, it is the ID of the loc or the region you defined. So, I called it L-O-L. -L, so, whatever you named your region that's what you want to type in and then I'm gonna do fuzzy 88 and region lol was updated so you'd think life would be wonderful this little griefer can make stuff and oh he's, he's breaking blocks on my uh, laptop but nothing's happening and it's saying you don't have permission for this area so uh, what's up here what's what's wrong this is strange uh, well, it's actually pretty simple, and the uh, developers have an ingenious way of uh, combating this, and I believe this was in the first revision of World Guard 2, so they knew it would be a problem. Uh, this box, let me change the day, make sure it doesn't get night. Uh, this region is inside this region, which is inside this region, and he is not an owner of this region, nor this region, so these obviously trump the smaller one. So, what we're going to need to do is parent this to this to this. So, unlike Harry Potter, this region is going to have two parents. Bazing! Now, I've always wanted to say that, but we won't need to parent this to both of these because it will pretty much just scale up if we continue on out. So, let's do that. And I believe I always forget how to do this. We're learning, guys. And if you type it wrong, um, if you somewhat get it right, you'll see the arguments. Hopefully I do that. Hopefully I do get it wrong. Uh, set parent is one word, and you want to do the child first. So we're going to parent LOL to my uh, town region, which is town1. Enter. And parent of lol set to town1. And town1 needs to be parented to the region it's in. You might not have this problem, but uh, just in case you do, uh, if you do define a region around a region, you want to make sure that it, the region immediately in that is parented to that and so on. So uh, we're going to do region set parent town one child and then parent. So town one, nope. Okay, so now my good griefer friend Fuzzy can break his blocks. Uh-oh, but can he destroy the street? No, he's trying to place blocks, but he can't. He just can't. But he can build outside of this region just fine. So that's good. Um, now, there is a problem, though. He can still do very bad things within this square. We never defined PvP in this zone, and I don't want people dying in my city, so that's not cool. So I'm going to set a flag for the region. I'm going to set a PvP flag. I advise you look these up. There's a link in the description. There are dozens of flags, and many of them should be uh, employed during this, because otherwise your city's going to be ruined. Um, you don't want people laying TNT in your city. You don't want people leading creepers in and blowing stuff up uh, you might not want chest access just stuff like that so uh, do look that up and I'll show you how to use or set a PvP flag but uh, for everything else you're on your own but it's really self-explanatory so we're going to set the flag 
we're going to do is region space flag and then you're going to do oh, falg you're going to do the flag that you're wanting to modify and uh, I believe uh, I don't know I'm probably gonna do this wrong let's see actually it's just if you don't know what to do next just do that and then it gives me a nice little menu there so region flag and ID ID would be our um, zone or our region and nope is my big region nope and the flag is pvp there's a list again online check the description and the value we're going to deny it doesn't accept false i think it should but uh deny so now we can't beat each other to death within the zone and that's good uh but i'd want to add a lot of other flags uh for instance uh like i said no creepers no tnt because otherwise he can do this place a little tnt a little redstone torch and before you know it boom your city is gone so make sure you get those flags set up correctly otherwise a griefer is going to make a chaos can cannon out of his house and destroy your entire city so you better have log block um, but yeah hope this helped guys um, um, if you have any other questions, I'd be totally happy to answer those. Just uh, shoot me a question in the comments section. And if there's enough questions about a certain topic, I'll make another video. But I do plan to make more of these little Minecraft tutorials, but not too uh, frequently, so I'm not spamming you guys. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Feltus45, and I hope you have fun playing the Minecraft.